Are you ready, sir? Ready. All right, let's to do rumble. this thing. Ready to rumble! Hi there, everybody. It's Jason Priggy for Coffee on the Coast of the Coolest Coast, and I'm sitting here with my buddy Dylan Chamura Moore, who is a musical director of the Manitowoc Symphony Orchestra, our hometown orchestra. So. How are you doing, Dylan? I'm doing great. Happy New Year to Happy you. Happy New Year to you. And, uh, you know, we've been to the, the two shows already that have been going on. And, Best oh shows my God. of your life. I no, believe. seriously awesome. <laughs> seriously awesome stuff. The Beatles concert was killer. And I love the Beatles and it was so much fun. But I personally enjoyed Andrew Dunlap. Yeah. A lot. And we had him in on the show. Great kid, wonderful musician and violinist. And that was a great show. We are here today talking about... Love. Love in the boot country. It's snowing. Love has fallen from the sky. Love is in the air. So what is the third offering from the uh, Manitowoc Symphony Orchestra An this year? An Italian journey. We're going to travel abroad, escape to Italy, because if there's not a time to escape to Italy, it is right now in <laughs> February. Run away, fly abroad, and enjoy all that is there to you. The warm weather, the wonderful food, the people. What type of music are you going to be playing for this concert? Italian music. music. Well, yes, Italian no, music, but by who? That's not enough. That's <laughs> not because we all have different perspectives of Italy, right? And of Italian sure. music and culture and whatever. We've been there, we've not been there, we've seen books, movies, whatever, we have an opinion. So all the music that we're playing are other people's opinion of Italy. We have no co Italian composers. We have the other perspectives. Wow, so, that's a unique... Oh, uh, it is unique, absolutely. Yeah. Um, so we have um, Schubert, the greatest writer of song of all time, perhaps, who basically s invented the art song genre. Uh, wanted to write opera, loved opera. He ch travels to Italy, he, Italian opera comes to him, and he is inspired by this Italian thing and writes music that sounds like Italy. We've got some waltzes uh, that are inspired by Italy. We've, we've got um, Tchaikovsky's very famous, very popular, Capriccio Espanol, a great pop's favorite that's inspired by Italy. But he, he went to Italy for different reasons. He was tormented in his life. He was, he was down and out, and he needed some place to lift him up. So, of course, he goes to Italy during Carnival. Nice. It, Italy has a Carnival as well, uh, and is inspired. His moods changes. He's back inspired to make music, and so we're making that, uh, we're playing that piece for you as well. Um, Mendelssohn, with Mendelssohn's fourth symphony, his Italian symphony. Um, he was young and wanting to see the world, and so he was encouraged to backpack and go travel Europe as well, all, we all wish we could at the moment. Uh, and his good friend, Goethe, yes, that Goethe, wow. said, hey, you know where you need to go? You need to go down to Italy. So he goes down to Italy, and what happens? He's there for a year and a half. I'd like to go on an adventure and just be like, oh, you know what? This place is nice. I'm going to stay here for a year and a half and experience the culture. Anyhow, he writes music based upon Italy, comes back home and performs it. And it's become, again, all this music, pictures of Italy to from the outside, I guess, perspective, yeah. our perspectives. Wow, sounds like a cool concert. It will be. So how is it going? You are, This is your first year with the Manitowoc Symphony Orchestra. Yes. Is it going well? Well, I'm a little more bald. No, it's, it's fantastic. <laughs> it's fantastic. I've never been w welcomed in a community so warmly before. All the people that I've met, all the musicians that, that I've met and made music with, um, I leave smiling, happy, energized. I always know it's good when I leave somewhere more energized than when I went into it. And this is one of those uh, opportunities, experiences. And so things can only get better. I'll be also at uh, the after uh, concert um, dinner. Um, we have a deal with Courthouse Pub that we sh you guys should all check out, a little Valentine's Day uh, meal. Uh, with some family members because it's a great time to bring family together. It's a matinee concert, 2.30 uh, p.m. for a dinner and a show, or a show and then a dinner, however you want to think about it. Or if you're a late riser, a brunch and a show, you know, it doesn't really matter. Yeah. Valentine's Day brunch sounds pretty good right now. Yeah, it does. Awesome. Well, thanks so much for joining us. If you want tickets, we're going to put that information down here at cccshows.com. Org, I believe it is, and also the Manitowoc Symphony Orchestra website. So get your tickets. I'm going to be there. You should be there. It's the coolest thing happening for lovers on the coolest coast. Lovers on the coolest coast. <laughs> Thanks for joining me, Dylan. Always. Yeah.